Hi folks, I'm Dennis. Um, today I'm going to be installing a um, 48 inch Eleganza shower base. Um, I've never put one in before. I'm putting one in in the uh, basement that's already been stubbed in from the original construction of the house. So I'm on a concrete floor. Um, I've got the most of the rough framing done and uh, I'm ready to set the shower. Once I set the shower base, I'll put the uh, put the walls in and I'll have another video about that. Um, the first problem that I run into is I've got a two inch drain line stubbed into the uh, concrete floor and um, the uh, the shower base with the um, with the shower drain in it, one of these little jobbies. Um, it's got to go into the uh, shower base. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. It takes an inch and three quarters of clearance um, from the uh, top of the base, shower base, to the bottom of the uh, drain tailpiece. Um, well, there's only an inch of clearance with the shower base sitting directly on the floor. So I've got to build a little platform to uh, raise the base three quarters of an inch, but it's got to have a solid foundation under it. Uh, so that it doesn't sag and crack over time and also so the caulking between in the walls doesn't leak that sort of thing so that's going to be the first thing that we have to tackle and uh, I'll show you what I've done what I've done is I've made up a frame using um, some 1 by 2 poplar and I just used poplar because it was cheap and strong enough to do the job um, I've made it this frame um, for the uh, outside dimensions of the shower base and um, I just took my uh, radial arm saw and cut um, some half lap joints um, like so um, on the corners nothing fancy uh, and in the middle I've taken a piece of uh, four inch PVC and uh, just a, I just took a coupling and cut three quarters of an inch off of it and uh, I made that fall exactly where the drain falls so that I've allowed clearance for the tailpiece on the uh, on the shower drain to go down inside of there so here's my shower base it's just leaning up against the wall right now um, there's a drain hole and there's the drain hole from the bottom and as you can see, I've got only an inch or so right there. Um, but then this drain that has to go in there from here to here needs, or from the, the thickness of it, it needs an inch and three quarters. To uh, float the shower base, I'm using this uh, MAPE 4 to 1. I think that's how you say it, MAPE, 4 to 1 mud bed mix. It's recommended for floating shower bases. Um, comes in a 55 pound bag. Okay, so they uh, tell me when you're using this uh, mud bed mix, you got to pack it in real tight and then screed it off. So what I've done is I've mixed up a bucket full and I've put it in my first side. And uh, now I'm going to screed it off using a, uh, pack it in real tight using a 2x2 two two that I've cut to length. I've glued down the, if you see some weights in there, I've glued down the frame to the floor using some liquid nails so it stays put. <clears throat> now that our mud bed is uh, in the form, screed it off, I've let it uh, cure overnight so it's good and dry and uh, now I can dry fit the shower base all right dry fit looks good everything fits got uh, plenty of clearance underneath that drain tailpiece uh, between the bottom of it and the floor so uh, got about a quarter inch extra and that's with the base of the shower um, the bottom of the shower base setting real firmly on the mud bed so there's no flexing to be done there so I won't have to worry about the tailpiece bumping into the floor and making the uh, center of the shower high and not drain right so <clears throat> everything looks real good alright so 
<clears throat> shower base has been dry fitted. Um, the stub up has been cut off to the right height so that the uh, shower drain can be sealed and still have clearance underneath whatnot. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol. You can use alcohol or you can use turpentine, either one to uh, prep a surface for, for caulking. Um, I wouldn't use anything stronger than that, particularly on like a, uh, like a tub surround because um, you might mar the finish or you know, you might have a bad reaction. Alcohol and turpentine, you don't have to worry about too much. So, take that, rub a little alcohol on there with my dirty finger and clean it up with a paper towel. Set it aside to dry real quick. Clean that up. So, all right. Now that that's dry, I'm just going to take a little bit of um, a little bit of silicon caulking that's approved for uh, kitchen, bath, and plumbing. Supposed to be shower ready in three hours. I don't think I'm gonna put water on it quite that fast. I think I'll uh, I think I'll give it probably overnight before I put water in it. So we've got the drain and the nut, the rubber washer, and the fiber washer. The fiber washer is kind of like a cardboard, and its purpose is to allow the nut to tighten up against the uh, rubber washer without binding the rubber washer up underneath so that it doesn't leak. You don't put any silicone on the rubber washer. It just seals up against the plastic on the bottom. So we're going to put this in the shower base and we're going to put this on here. Make sure when you put your nut on that you put it on the right way. It's got a hex head on this side and a flat, well it's not really flat, it's grooved, but a a surface on this side you can see the difference here this side is meant to go up against the washer so make sure you put it on there the right way it's got to go on like this if you put it on like that it's going to booger up your washers and it's not going to press as evenly to get a good seal <clears throat> alright so I've got the uh, shower base kind of propped in I'm looking at it from the back side um, I'm just going to do it from the back side because it's easier for me to do. Um, if you didn't have access behind the wall, then you would do it from the front side. Alright, so I'm going to go around the perimeter, all over the mud bed. Alright, so now what I've done is, I've set the base. I've made sure that uh, the drain here, the stub up is centered in the drain. Before I do anything, I'm not going to screw it down yet. I've already drilled my holes around the base per the instructions from uh, aqua glass <clears throat> but I'm not going to put screws in there yet because I won't let the base settle so what I'm going to do I'm not even going to put in the uh, the drain pieces yet because again I want this thing to settle just in case my foam expands too much I'm going to take a moving quilt you use a blanket or a towel anything like that just be careful so I don't scratch up the surface. <clears throat> I'm going to take some weights. I'm going to put the heaviest weight in the metal because I want to make sure that it stays lower than the rest of the, the uh, shower base. What I've got to do is get the uh, get the rest of this drain put together. So I've got uh, my little seal, my rubber seal goes in that way. Um, if you look at this, um, see it's got a tapered side and a flat side. The tapered side goes up because this uh, this little internal nut that goes down on top of it has also got a tapered. Uh, edge. So you want the two tapers to fit together like so so that this 
when this expands in both directions, it seals up around the stub up and the tailpiece. <clears throat> and then you've got a little wrench that comes with the uh, with the drain that goes into this ring and helps you turn it. Now, what you want to do, this will fall out and it will fall down in the drain hole. So take your rag, a little shop rag or something, paper towel, whatever, and uh, just sort of stuff it down in there so you can pull it out in a little bit. Because um, you don't want to lose that drain or that wrench down your uh, down your drain. It'll get down in the trap and stick and you got to fish it out with a magnet or whatever. <clears throat> so you can take this uh, ring and we're going to taper up, make sure it's clean. We're going to tuck it down in here. We've already made sure that the uh, the stub up and the drain are centered. Got to make sure you got the tapered end up against this gasket and uh, make sure it's not cross threaded. Make sure it threads in there right. <clears throat> Take your little wrench. It's got, there's four little cross holes in there. You make sure that wrench is snapped down in there good. So it doesn't pop out and take your screwdriver. And usually it takes a pretty big blade, you know, like a quarter inch screwdriver or something like that. So you can kind of get in there and bear down on it. And it will want to snap out on you. <clears throat> Tighten that up, and then what I'd recommend doing is taking a pair of uh, channel locks or some pair of pliers. Not the greatest thing to, in the world to do with your screwdriver, but get a little bit extra, um, get a little bit extra torque on this thing. Then um, it's got the little screen, you know, that goes with it. You just peel off a little label and. They put a little plastic coating on there so the so the screen doesn't get all scratched up in the process. And then it's just got four little four little feet in there that catch. So you can snap that right in and good to go. There's there are flanges that are all the way around the base. Uh, and you pre-drill those a little bit bigger than the size screw you're going to use. You got to make sure that you don't use drywall screws because it'll crack the plastic on the base. Um, <clears throat> you can see where where I've drilled the holes everywhere around here. And uh, but you got to make I got to make sure that I and I bought some uh, some pan head screws because a uh, drywall screw has got a fluted head on it and it'll go into this plastic and, it'll, and the fluted part will go in there and expand the plastic too much and it'll crack it. So um, the pan head doesn't have that flute. It'll go in, go into the stud, flush up against the flange without breaking it and then I just have to be careful not to over tighten it. And that holds the shower base in without cracking up the plastic. Um, and then we can then I can put the walls on. The um, you want to be careful not to slip. Probably ought to put a piece of tape down or something. Um, I want to be careful not to slip because I don't want to scratch the shower base up with my screwdriver. And there we have it. There's an installed shower base, aqua glass, um, plastic shower base, complete with drain. Flanges are all screwed in. <clears throat> it's glued down, sealed up. I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. Um, and uh, I look forward to your comments. Bye.